This local sports report is brought to you by Joe Romeo from Remax Twin City and the Romeo Circle. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home or just need advice from an experienced realtor, contact Joe and his team. Give them a call at 519-546-7979 or visit RomeoCircle.com. It's a very exciting day here at the Gulf Country Club. One of our junior performance team members, Tyler Scott, signing his letter of intent uh, for his golf scholarship at Belmont Abbey College in Belmont, North Carolina. All the Gulf Country Club proud of you here today. Tyler Scott is Abbey bound, signing a scholarship with Belmont Abbey College in North Carolina. He made it official on Friday morning at the Gulf Country Club in Cambridge. It's a dream come true. I've always, ever since I started playing golf, I've always wanted to get, take it to the next level and play uh, NCAA golf, and it kind of it means the world to me. It's pretty excited to get going, and I have such a great support system that I'm so thankful for. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without them, and it just means the world that I can uh, can sign and uh, can move on with the next chapter of my life. The Carlisle native will become a crusader this coming January. The 18-year-old is heading south after three years as a member with Galt. The golf course is amazing, um, perfect conditions constantly, and you're always able to get out there, have a good round, and it challenges you as well. You got to keep it in play, um, and then the the member support here for the junior program is amazing. Uh, when they have some. Uh, Member events, we'll have a junior raffle going and everyone pitches in to help support our program and it's just amazing. I mean, just walking around the course, around the clubhouse, people stop and ask how you're doing. Just, um, just a really amazing support group here and I definitely has helped me in my uh, development of my game. Watching Scop swing, the first thing that stands out is his power. That's a bomb. It would take me a while to get to that ball. You can see just by watching Tyler swing back here, um, just the, the sheer power and energy he has in his golf swing. He calls himself an aggressive player who uses his strength to his advantage. Really my whole life kind of revolves around being the best I can be in golf and as a person, but I mean, like I'm say right now in the off season, I'm trying, working out four days a week, trying to hit balls for four or five hours, like f five days a week. and. That's just not even in the summer. Like when I'm in the summer, it's every single day. For the last five years, Scop has been working with Dave Smallwood, a well-known teaching professional and the general manager at the GCC. He fits in with everybody. He's uh, just a fun, a fun loving young guy and uh, and he's going to be a great teammate down there. And, you know, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those smaller schools, they're traveling by minivan to all their tournaments. He's going to be the life of the party. He'll be the one in the middle of it, and the coach will love his energy. I definitely wouldn't be here without Dave and all he's done for me. Um, when I first joined the program, I did not know what I was doing when it came to swinging the golf club and learning how to play golf, and he's helped me so much in both aspects. I definitely like would not be here without his help, and it it's meant so much to me, and then he's also been a been a great mentor. Scott says he loves being able to fine tune his game year round using the indoor simulator at the Golf Learning Center. In Canada, we don't really have many opportunities to play golf during the winter, obviously. So when you can come in here, use the simulators, and uh, it's a great way to get better and uh, improve our games. His work indoors made a huge difference on the course this summer. He made 15 eagles and also enjoyed success on the greens. His highlights included making a long putt on the 18th hole at a qualifier to earn a spot in the Ontario Men's Amateur Championship. It was his first time competing in the tournament. It was definitely a good experience. I mean, it certainly didn't play out the way I wanted it to, but I learned a lot about my game and kind of where I stand against some of the guys a few years older than me that are playing uh, NCAA Division One golf right now and um, guys even older than that that are, um, you can say, Ontario Amateur legends. And it's just kind of um, pretty cool to see how I stacked up and kind of next year when I hopefully be back, it'll give me a lot more, I'll be a lot more comfortable, I'll be able to play my own game and uh, go out there and hopefully get a good result. Scop is excited to start the next chapter in his golf journey, teeing it up in the NCAA. He is driven, he is passionate, and his hard work is paying off as he continues chasing his dream to one day play professional golf. 
I'm definitely proud of myself, but I mean, this is just getting started. So I got a lot more work to do to get to where I want to be, but I'm, I've put in a ton of work and it kind of, I don't know, it's a big kind of a relief to get to this step in my uh, life because I know I put so much effort into it, so much of my time. I'm so thankful for my parents, everything they've done for me. They've sacrificed so much and have supported me constantly to help me get to this point in my life. Um, my brother, my really everyone in my family, they've just done an amazing job of supporting me and helping me get to this part in my life. Um, my friends, they've done a great job, whether playing matches here, just hanging out off the golf course. It's been amazing and uh, helping my development. Um, all of my coaches I've had, uh, Dr. Rich, Dave, and some of my trainers that I've had as well, they've done a great job in putting me um, in this position to kind of achieve my goals and help me chase my dreams, and I couldn't do this without them. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.